Hello and welcome to Relatable Code. In this video, we're going to talk about spinners in Android. So let's get started. So as you can see, uh, a spinner is a simple UI component in Android uh, that lets you display a drop-down list like that. Okay, a drop-down list with several options, which are strings. And after you click on one of those options, the text inside your spinner will be updated. Okay. That's what we're going to implement in this tutorial. So let's get started. We're going to start with our strings.xml file, where we're going to supply an array uh, of these colors, which are red, green, blue, and yellow. So we're going to go to our strings.xml file. And inside this file, we're going to declare a string array. You can do it like that. And you can name them colors, close it. And inside this string array, uh, we want to provide the strings to be populated. So here we can uh, provide the colors which we need. In our case, we have red, green, blue, and yellow. Uh, so to put an item inside a string array, you can do it with item. And inside uh, these uh, two brackets, you can write, for example, red, duplicate the item, use one for blue, one for green, and one for yellow, if you want. And that's how you create a string array in Android. This string array will supply the strings uh, to our spinner. So, uh, to create a spinner, you have to first go to your XML file and add that spinner to your layout. You can do that by searching for spinner inside your palette right there. Drag and drop that spinner. Let's position it in the middle of our screen. And let's give it a width of wrap content and an ID of spinner underscore colors. That's how you add a spinner to your XML. As you can see, it's very straightforward. And now we're going to program our activity uh, to handle supplying our items to that spinner. And in order uh, to populate the items in our spinner like that, similar to the recycler view, we need an adapter. But in the case of a spinner, that adapter is called an array adapter. And creating one is very easy. You can do that with array adapter with a capital A dot create from resource. This will help you create an array adapter with uh, some preset strings in our case. Okay, so let's do that. What does it expect? Let's use control P, it expects a context. We can do that with this. It expects also uh, a text array uh, resource ID. In our case, that will be our uh, colors array. We can do that with r.array.colors. And after that, we have to uh, supply a, a text view resource ID, which you can do with android.r.layout.colors simple spinner drop down item let's choose that option and after that let's uh, further modify this adapter with an also block where we can have access to this adapter and here we can write adapter dot set drop down view resource and supply the same resource which we provided here and finally, uh, we need to tell our code that this adapter is for our spinner. We can do that with binding dot spinner colors dot adapter equals to adapter, which refers to this adapter. Okay, so go ahead and run your application. And now we have an activity with a spinner, which has these four values, which are red, 
blue, green, and yellow. As you can see, the same four values which we provided inside this string array. And if we click on uh, any of these values, uh, the text inside the spinner will change. And now we're going to add an onclick listener for the items inside this spinner. Let's do that with binding dot spinner colors dot on item selected listener equals to object adapter view dot on item selected listener. Choose that option. Expand the brackets. And here we're going to implement the methods of this interface, which are uh, on item selected and on nothing selected, which will provide us with nothing. So we're not going to use it here. Uh, and let's rename uh, these parameters so that uh, they can become uh, more clear to use. So here, rename p0 to parent uh, view. Rename P1 to view, rename P2 to position, and rename P3 to ID, because uh, that's basically what these four parameters are. Android should do that on its own, but it doesn't right now, which is fine, because we just did it. And inside on item selected listener, we need to gain reference to uh, the selected text inside uh, this spinner, and we can do that with uh, val selected color equals to parent view dot get item at position for our position dot to string, and let's add a question mark here to handle the nullable case of our adapter view. And underneath that, let's just display a toast with context this at main activity to capture uh, the outer context of our activity. And for our text, we can write selected dollar sign selected color. And that's pretty much it. Let's rerun our application. And you can see, uh, as soon as you launch your application, uh, this toast message is triggered because this function uh, is triggered as soon as uh, it is loaded into your activity. Okay, uh, so let's try another color, like for example, blue. And as you can see, you have selected blue. Okay, that's how you deal with uh, a list of pre-selected items for your spinner. Now we're going to see how to supply a list of items at runtime. So now we're going to create an array adapter uh, with a list that we have at runtime, not at compile time, uh, like our strings list right there. Uh, so go to your main activity and let's create a list with val colors list equals to list of, let's write purple red, white, you can add as many colors as you want. I think that's enough. And now we're going to supply our colors list to our array adapter. But we can't do it with uh, this method because as its name specifies, it's create from resource, which uh, necessitates that you have uh, a resource, like an array resource in our case, okay? And your resource is fine. So enough resources, let's create an array adapter. Uh, just like that, it expects a context, that's easy. It expects a, a resource, which can be this one right here. And now you can provide uh, an array of objects or a list of objects in our case which can be our colors list right there. So write colors list. And that's how you create an array adapter with uh, that colors list. And to supply that adapter to our spinner, 
we can use uh, the same approach with it here. And let's comment out that code. Let's leave the on-click listener uh, for now. Rerun our application. That's our application. We have purple pre-selected and toasted right there. Let's select white. And you can see that we have the same functionality with a list that we can have at runtime. Okay. And now we don't want our toast to be triggered as soon as uh, we open this activity. And we can handle that in an easy way. I'm going to show you how. Uh, so this code will get triggered as soon as uh, your activity gets launched. But we're going to uh, make a workaround with a flag. Okay, so let's create a flag with private var. What's the method called? It's called on item selected listener. Let's call our flag has processed on item selected without a listener. And let's have that initially equal to false. Okay, so we only want our code to get triggered if uh, this flag is true. So we can add an if statement right here. If has processed on item selected, execute. This code else has processed item selected equals to true. So now rerun your application. And as you can see, uh, we didn't have a toast message as soon as we launched it. Let's see it again. So as you can see, uh, that was uh, handled. And now if I choose a different color, we can now see the toast message properly. OK. If you find my type of content to be relatable, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for future content. And I'll see you in the next video.